In the last video, I posed the question, what does it mean to beat Brawl Stars? Well, a few of you mentioned that it was getting 50,000 trophy cents. That's the end of the trophy road, and I like it. In this episode, my goal is to reach 10,000 trophies. So on day 15, I naturally started by getting tempted by some offers in the shop. I, I can't, I don't even know why I'm looking at them. I'm just looking at them and dreaming. After that, I hopped into my first quest to get three wins with Gale. And that proved to be difficult because in my first game, I just sat there and played defense for two minutes straight as we got destroyed. Power one Gale, yeah, not so strong. But eventually I completed that. And then after that, I completed five Robo Rumble games and I wish that I I could say it was easy, but no, no, it was not. I can't beat this. Oh my god. Once that was done, I got my grade to 550 and then hopped into some games with my power to Shelly, and I had a rip roar in good time. Shelly montage. Now day 16, I didn't play as I was working on the first episode to get that done for you all, as well as filming the spot for today's sponsor. You've got a phone, right? I mean, if so, you should be playing Raid Shadow Legends or you're missing out on a game that you just may really love. Raid is a mobile RPG where you can collect over 650 champions, where you put together your ultimate team and battle it out in a massive campaign, bosses, and other players from around the world. I love how many different styles of champions there are so you can devote your resources to the ones that you like the best. And if you've never played, now is the perfect time to start because Raid is putting their starting champions head to head to see which one is best. And just for casting your vote, you'll be entered to win a part of a $20,000 prize pool in Amazon gift cards. 85 of them in total, as well as various in-game items. So which one am I backing? It's gotta be the mean green slashing machine Gaelic. He's got two big axes and he uses them by slashing enemies, dealing big damage to one or even multiple enemies. To enter, you need to download Raid through the link below, check out the starter champions, get your game idea, and then click the link in this video's description to vote. Once you get there, you'll need to enter your game ID, select your favorite starter champion, add your name, email, and then you're entered. Go download the game and then go vote for your starter champion. That link is down there too. Don't forget you will need your in-game ID to vote. The contest lasts from January 16th through February 10th. And if you download the game using my link in the description, you'll get these awesome rewards. With the new season rolling in, I collected my star points and then I looked at things that I couldn't buy in the shop, collected my freebies, and then started in on the day's quest starting with duels. I absolutely wiped out everyone, not losing a single match, and in the process realized that Gray is really good at duels. Now he's just dead. Why would you do that? After that, I channeled my inner OJ and collected all of the power cubes I could in Solo Showdown as well as making an Edgar look completely silly in the process. Or I'm just gonna beat him. I was enjoying myself so much, I went ahead and pushed my gray all the way to 600 trophies. We'll, we'll take that. After that, I hopped into Heist, trying to complete a heal quest with my power one barley and even though we won, 2700. Forgive me random teammates, but I've got a quest to do. After that one last final push, I got ticked to 600 in bounty and then collected my rewards for the day. On this day, I didn't have much time to play as I was crunching numbers for your favorite brawler video, but I did manage to get a little action in with Barley and Solo Showdown. I played just enough to collect all of my tokens for the day and then worked on the thumbnail for that video. I took this day off as I spent some time doing some woodworking on two beds that I'm making for my daughters as well as I took my son Sawyer to get his very first vehicle. Pretty cool truck I gotta say. I was back at it and I started out by getting Gray's brand new gadget and then taking my Power One Daryl into Solo Showdown just trying to get enough trophies to get to 7,000 total trophies. After being chased by a Chester to the ends of the earth, I shamelessly camped in a bush to achieve the 7,000 trophies and then collected my reward. <laughs> 
7,000 trophies right there, 245 more to go. That's still quite a bit, honestly. <laughs> After that, I leveled up my Brock to Power 9 with a star power and a gadget because we had club league games and I needed another viable brawler to be able to play. It worked out and we won them both, so I figured I might as well get my Brock up to 500 trophies now that I could actually deal some damage. I then played a little power league and after getting the thumbs down from this guy, I proceeded to exact my revenge. And then Kids Grey was so much fun, I decided to try a little cheese with my club mates, teleporting me and Jackie to people in Knockout. And this is actually kind of broken, but hey, it worked. Now there are a few maps in the game that when they come around, you know it's time to push those bruisers. And Cavern Churn was just begging me to play Shelly and not being one to say no to a good time, I broke out the shotgun and I blasted some people down, pushing her to over 400 trophies. Next up was a quest for 15 kills and heist and it only took a couple games with Brock and that was complete, leaving me to collect a bunch of rewards which left me ever so close to unlocking Gene. Is this enough? It's not. I'm 50 away. So I decided to grind just a bit more. Some Brock and Deep Diner, El Primo and Sneaky Fields, and then Shelly once again in Cavern Churn, leaving me one game away from 500 Shelly and 7,500 trophies. Fellas, you gotta help me out here. I can't do anything. El Primo looks like he is just a man among men, bro. Because we can go right there and we can win the game. That's gonna get me to five. I did nothing. I did nothing. And I got 500 trophies. Thank you, El Primo. That left me with one final decision for my Mythic Brawler. Now we are faced with the decision. Do I stay with Gene or do I pick one of these other brawlers? I'm gonna go with Gene though. I just I feel like it's something that it's just the smarter pick. Who's gonna be our next brawler, a rare brawler? So it'd be decently easy to unlock. Oh, it's gotta be Bull. Nice. Gene, level seven, pretty solid day. Next up, we had some boss fight to take care of, and I managed to do that with my level one bow and then finishing it off with Tick and collecting my rewards. Now, my Gene I got the previous day was calling my name, so after a bit of grinding with Gene, it left me one game short of 8,000 trophies and a bunch of credits. Don't get it in there, bros. I, I, I totally didn't auto aim that. Oh, yes, great. Ooh, did he? Ah, he did. I pulled him back enough that he was able to get it in. That led me to collecting a ton of rewards and getting some brand new brawlers. Okay, so we got Bull. Yay. Hi. So who do I want? Penny or Carl? But A bit's just out of the question. I think I'm going to go with Carl. Penny does well too, but let's go with Carl. Let's choose him. And we are now fully unlocked Carl. We got two brawlers right here. Epic Brawler is our next one. Who is it? Give me my choices. Pam, Frank, or B. I definitely don't want Frank. B is a solid brawler. We're gonna choose B. We're gonna roll with that. How far is it gonna get me? About halfway. Nice. I, I like that. I gotta get to 10,000 trophies for my next massive credit drop. Day 22, that's it. I started out the day by getting Carl and Bull up to 100 trophies each and then took Carl into solo showdown just trying to deal enough damage as a power one to complete a quest. It ended up being a lot harder than I thought though and yes Carl is good but Carl as a power one? Yeah, that dude needs to hit the gym because he is weak as heck. I managed to get the quest done, but then set my sights on more trophies so we kept on that grind. Please stop the lag. <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't just have to fight other brawlers though. The lag was so bad that finally, in frustration, I called it a day. Dude, look at the, dude, like, what is my lag? What is my lag? Dude, what, what, what is this nonsense? Have you ever wanted to gain trophies while showing exactly zero skills? Well, homie, today you in luck. I'm gonna hook you up with five easy steps to play Brawl Stars like a You can't say that. Yo man, I'm just keeping it real. All right, step one, grab any brawler you want and head into solo showdowns. Step number two, grab the closest power cube that you see. Now I ain't saying that you actually needs that power cube because let's be real, you gonna be playing like a little but grab it anyway. Yo, whoa, 
Hey, can you watch the language? Man, you about to watch me slapping you upside the head if you don't shut up. Step number three, walk on over to the nearest bush. Now, the next step is super difficult, so pay close attention. All you got to do for step number four is just stand there. Now, you might see some other homies, they be running around and fighting, and if you was a man, you'd fight them too. But let's be real, this guy ain't that. You ain't been hitting the gym, you're super weak. So you just stand there, and you let the others do the dirty works for you. And then finally, step number five. When that green gas be getting close to you, you just scurry on over to the next spot to hide. Now, if you followed these steps, you probably gain trophies, but let's be real, man. You played the game like a little b Starting out the day, I had a ton of quests to complete. We were faced with getting some kills with Bo, so I wanted to see if I could just let somebody else do the work for me. I got another kill! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good! After that, I went into Crystal Arcade to finish off those kills and I got it done in no time. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Then I needed eight wins with my Power One Gale and I wish I could tell you that I manned up and just outskilled everybody, but I'm gonna keep it real. Oh, I can't. Brother, and it this works. guy stinks! No, I'm not proud of it, but at this point, I'm going to take any trophies that I can. So then my last quest of the day was to heal some with Poco. So I jumped into Crystal Arcade and again I took care of that. Oh sorry, I didn't get you in time, bro. This left me awfully close to 9,000 trophies, so after a bit of grinding, I got that and I was one game short of 500 trophies with my Power 1 bow. Yes, two, one, boom, and that's going to be it. The level 1 bow up to 500 trophies. For the moment, everything's at least 300 trophies, if not higher, and we are at 9,000 trophies at the end of day 25. Now I only had a few days left to get another 1,000 trophies to reach my 10,000 trophy goal for this episode. So I played a bit in heist, getting my Brock to 700 trophies and then camped my way to a 500 trophy Daryl. After that, we played some Gene and Brawl Ball and got my Gray to 700 trophies as well. And then promptly tilted it again. But then I managed to get it back. Now I didn't have many quests for this day, so after I completed them pretty easy, I decided to push my Gene to 500 trophies, and it was honestly back and forth for a while because Gene isn't a brawler that can carry teammates very well. And we had brawlers like this Rosa to deal with. Yes, Rosa, get him. Get him, Rosa. Okay. Rosa, we need you. But after some grinding, it left me one game away from 500 Gene. Oh my gosh, you just hold down that button and you just destroy them. All five shots, do I get the final kill? I do, thanks Amber. To 500 trophies on our Gene and 9,500 trophies total. Oh, only 125 credits to go to get B. We had two days left to get 500 trophies to reach our goal. Now, I wanted to get at least half of it on this day. I had a bunch of quests to complete, so it was looking like there would be no problem at all getting these trophies. That's what we call foreshadowing. I went into Brawl Ball with Stu. The lag was bad, and Stu was weak, but still, we did a thing. Did I get it? I did. Next up, we doubled up and took M's into Heist, trying to complete two quests at once. And then finally comes Hot Zone. Probably my least favorite game mode, but it was Map Maker, so the games got kind of crazy. Heal it up. Yes, there we go. Finally, we finished our quest and collected all of those rewards and enough to collect my next brawler. There's been a little bit of a dry grind here, but let's see. So it's Pam, Frank, or B. I'm not going to level them up, so I need to play something that's going to be strong at level one, and I think that that's just got to be B. And we start unlocking the new mythic brawler. Terra is who I'm going to have to choose. So 90 more chroma credits, and I get Surge. Now, my plan was to grind for those trophies after a short break, but... That was derailed when I ran into some car trouble, and I spent pretty much the rest of the night working on my car. Now, I did finally get it going, but that put me way behind, and that meant that I would need a huge last day if I was going to make my goal. So with that massive setback, I had some work to do. I started out by completing my quest, and then I had to go full Super Saiyan mode to reach my 10,000 trophy goal.
And after I reached my final form, we were left with one game remaining to reach my 10,000 trophy goal. Edgar, you're, you're dead. You're dead. The other edge is going to jump on you. You're dead. You're dead. Jump away. Please jump away. No, what are you doing? Yes, come on. I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with what just happened, even though my Edgar he wasn't the best, but you know what? He survived long enough, and this is going to bring us to 10,000 total trophies. So then, after one month of being free to play, I have reached 10,000 trophies, and I am well on my way to beating Brawl Stars. And, and when I say well on my way, what I mean is, yeah, not even close.